Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today we are gonna be looking at the Fall Friends box. I am so excited to share this one with you guys. If you watched my last one, you will have known that I was a little bit disappointed with their execution of the themes. They had been on this 10 box journey. Season one be a theme, season two be a theme. Every season was gonna be a theme until they finished it. And last season's box was season 10. And I didn't think that they executed it very well at all. The items were still good. It just wasn't the best execution. And this time, I really hope they blow it out of the water because as you can tell in the box, it is a Thanksgiving themed friends box. They have not only changed up the design of the box because it is switching themes now from quarter to quarter. I really hope they execute this one flawlessly because the Thanksgiving episodes on Friends are some of the more iconic episodes that they have. They're like some of my favorites all around. Not every one of them, but a lot of them are. And I love on the back how they put the trifle. We have already received a item in a Friends box that has the trifle on it, a trifle trinket dish. One of my favorite trinket dishes that I had received to date from any of my boxes because that episode was one of my favorites. My mind is going all over the place because I just see so many wonderful things. I think that they nailed it this time. This is actually a save $10 link on your next purchase at Culturefly. I mean, I'll put that there. If you wanna scan the QR code and save $10, I mean, go ahead but they actually have a lot of items for sale in the boxes for sale in their shop that are like one-time collectible boxes for a ton of different genres. They don't just have subscription boxes there. They have a lot of things to offer at Culturefly. I would say it's a little bit like Loot Crate, only Culturefly, you can actually expect to receive your items in a timely manner, unlike Loot Crate. First, I'm gonna go with this little box here. Oh, it's a bento box. <gasps> How fun. I forgot to, we've also received another Thanksgiving item that was a sandwich container that was talking about how it was my sandwich. Remember when Ross freaked out when his boss was eating his leftover Thanksgiving sandwich? Like freaked out, had to get tranquilized and everything. <laughs> oh, another iconic moment that came around the Thanksgiving season. Oh, okay, so this so far looks really cool. We got a spoon and a fork. I will mention that it is made with plastic. So it's not like one of the bento boxes that you can get that's made of metal. This one is just made with plastic, but looks like the lid will press down here to secure the compartments that are in here, which is good. And then I like that it has the spoon and the fork. But the design on the top of it is nice. It has a bunch of different sayings from friends from their Thanksgiving ones, like they've ruined cranberry day. It tastes like feet. That would be the trifle. My sandwich, <laughs> that's the sandwich reference. What's not to like? Custard, good. Jam, good. Meat, good. That's also about the trifle. <laughs> And it just kind of repeats those throughout the entire top of the case. Very nice. And look, you can carry it like it's a basket. How fun. Love that item. Next, I'm gonna pull out this glass tumbler. The picture on the box makes it look like it's gonna be a throwback to when they talked about Thanksgivings when they were high schoolers and college kids. You know, when Monica got revenge on Chandler. It's a nice size glass. I like the width of it. I'm not used to getting tumblers that are short like this and wide, but I do like that it's wide and it isn't just short and thin. So at least it'll hold a good amount of liquid in here, whatever it is that you wanted to put in your Thanksgiving glass. Ah, another kitchen tea towel. I have received tea towels from them before. I do use them. In fact, I'm currently using one right now. Let's see what this one is designed like. It has the trifle, OMG, this is so gonna be used. It tastes like feet. <laughs> I love the feel of this one better. The last one was used with, I think, the microfiber fabric, and I don't really like the feel of that one. This one feels more like a regular tea towel 
that you would find at a store. And I love, 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 love the trifle that's on it because it is one of the best Thanksgiving episodes ever. Next, we have some cupcake liners and I needed cupcake liners. I have reusable ones, but these will be fun to use when I wanna bake something without having to use the reusable silicone ones. I like the look of them. They just say, happy turkey day, Thanksgiving. It tastes like feet. Lots of different things on these cupcake liners. And the brown also is good coloring for Thanksgiving. The next item that I see is an apron. So every box, I forgot to mention, will have a wearable item. Looks like this quarter, or this season, the wearable item is a apron. It does have pockets on it right here, which are good. I don't know what to make of the fabric. The fabric almost feels a little bit like burlap sack fabric. It's not soft, but doesn't necessarily need to be soft for an apron. It just needs to be able to do its job. I like the packets that are on it, and it has the standard Central Perk logo. I feel like we see the Central Perk logo all the time. Even when friends' products are sold at stores, it's always Central Perk this and Central Perk that. I would have liked to seen maybe a reference to Monica on the apron, considering that it is an apron and she was a chef. I feel like that would have been a better opportunity to rope in another friend's thing instead of just putting a standard Central Perk sticker on it. But it is still a good, usable, wearable item. The next thing in here is a book. Oh, it's a Friends television series official cookbook. Is this a real cookbook? It looks nice. You see the turkey with the glasses on there. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do we got cooking in this cookbook? Oh, I think it might be a real cookbook, guys. Blue Cupboard Basics. Wow, do you have any idea how many more recipes I could try on my testing videos? Oh my gosh. So many good things. Breakfast, so you have Rachel's dried fruit, Phoebe's post-run recovery bars, Janice's, oh my God, pancakes, mornings here bagels. Oh yeah, the guy that would sing mornings here. The eggs a la Chandler in the 1950s diner special, gentlemen prefer breakfast sausage and gravy. That's so cool. I love how they also put pictures in here that had to do with the Friends episodes. Oh, come on. Nobody likes two different kinds of eggs equally. You like one better than the other, and I want to know which. Oh, yeah, this is the one where Eddie moves in, and Joey was like, which one of us do you like better? But instead of asking that direct, he was asking about the eggs. I love how it adds the references in here. This thing is loaded down, guys. Seriously, I could spend all day looking at this, but I can't. I can't spend all day because I literally have like eight videos to film. Oh, this last one, sweets and desserts. Central Perk almond biscotti, Central Perk's birthday muffins, chocolate chip cookies the French way. <laughs> <laughs> Which is basically Nestle Toll House way. Nestle Toll House. <laughs> Jam and a spoon scones. Phoebe's oatmeal cookie ice cream sandwiches. 20 year old Twinkie. Donut bread pudding. The one with the large eyebrows on his hat. Cereal milkshakes. Bake the pie. Pie. Cheesecake worth stealing. Oh yeah. <gasps> It was Rachel and Chandler that were eating the cheesecake and Joey showed up at the last one and just pulled a fork out of his pocket. Oh my gosh, and then Rachel's meat trifle. No way, what does it say? What is Rachel's meat trifle? Now I gotta find it. Oh my gosh, five to six slices of thick cut applewood smoked bacon, brown sugar, whipping cream, lemon curd, two pounds of pound cake that's already been made, a cup of opposite of man blackberry mint jam, strawberries, quartered blueberries. So basically a bunch of fruit, pound cake, and you gotta have that bacon in there because it wouldn't be a Rachel's meat trifle without a little bit of meat. I do like that they substituted this one with bacon instead of what she used, which was ground beef, peas, and onions. Okay, I gotta put this down or I will look at it forever. That is a perfect item to get and it has great value because it was literally literally loaded down with recipes and references to friends. I think it makes up for the fact that they didn't put a Monica thing on the apron. 
kinda. Maybe they could have made it reversible. You could have had a Monica saying on one side and if people didn't like Monica's sayings or Monica, they could have switched it around to Central Perk. I have a friend that does vinyl and I might actually have her print out a Monica saying and put it on the back of this. I wonder what I would have her say. Monica says a lot of stuff in the kitchen. Actually, you'd probably say something like, get the hell out of my kitchen. Okay, next item is placemats. It tastes like feet. You know what's funny is this placemat and the writing on it is kind of giving me 70s vibes, which is the same kind of vibes that Taylor Swift is putting out right now with her Midnight album. If you don't follow her on Instagram and you didn't already know, she has this little series going on where she's gonna release the name of her songs that are gonna be in her new album, like one at a time, like this 70s game show with the Browns and just, just got an old school vibe going on with it. What do we have? Rachel and Phoebe, and then this is actually Chandler and Monica when she put the turkey on her head, trying to make Chandler feel better because she, you know, she cut off his toe by accident all those years ago. I'm starting to get more and more friends kitchenware. I had received the kitchen plates in a season maybe this the last season I already had cups from them with the placemats with the kitchen plates they kind of can work together if I ever wanted to maybe set up my table or decorate my kitchen in a friend's way I'm starting to get enough that I'll be able to do that I probably still need a little bit more but it's getting close that is it for this season's box let's do a quick recap we have the friends bento box the Friends Tumbler, the Friends Dish Towel or Tea Towel, an apron, cookbook loaded with recipes, cupcake liners, and these placemats. I keep forgetting what they're called. I do think that they did a good job this time executing the theme. Way better job. Just way better job. You have a lot of Thanksgiving references. You have some Thanksgiving usable things. There are, I think, some of the recipes that were made during Thanksgiving in this book. You have to wear an apron, or you don't have to wear an apron, but you should wear an apron if you're gonna be in the kitchen all day, especially baking. I mean, flour just goes everywhere. Cupcake liners, which is also for the kitchen placemats. You did a better job this time, Culture Fly. I'm impressed. I cannot wait to see what the next theme is gonna be. In fact, see if I can look it up right now. They have not released the identity of the winter theme, but hopefully it's fantastic. This one was great. And I was more impressed with this one than a couple of the other ones that they've done with the seasons. So maybe they have opened themselves up to be more creative without having to stick to a particular season. And plus, I did give them my feedback last time. They asked for a survey, I think, from subscribers on what they could do better, what we'd like to see more. And I filled it out in detail or as much detail as I could. I wanted to share my opinions. They don't have to take any of them, of course, but it's just thoughts. Anyways, I can go on and on and I really just need to stop. So please give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye everyone.